Prime Minister Modi is set to attend the Quad Summit in Tokyo, Japan. In a few minutes from now, he will be addressing the Indian diaspora from east to west. India is in the global spotlight. While the Prime Minister got a rousing reception in Tokyo, in Davos, the India story is shining. Over the next half hour, we will bring you how the worldwide Vishwaguru Bharat is rising from east to west. Forty hours, 23 meetings. This is Prime Minister Modi's agenda for the worldwide tour of Tokyo. Modi kick-started the worldwide tour with a rousing welcome from the Indian diaspora along with interactions with several kids and a meeting with the Indian business community. Prime Minister Modi is at present on a two-day visit to Japan for the second in-person Quad Summit scheduled to take place tomorrow. He's also going to be attending the second in-person Quad Summit with his U.S., Japan and Australian counterparts. Prime Minister Modi met uh, uh, Nobuhiro Endo, the chairman of IT company NEC Corporation. During their meeting, Nobuhiro Endo spoke about opportunities in India in areas such as smart cities, emerging technologies and digital learning. Prime Minister Modi also ended up meeting with Osamu Suzuki, a senior advisor of Suzuki Motor Corporation and appreciated the transformational role of Suzuki Motors in the automotive industry of India. Modi is also going to be holding community and diplomatic engagements alongside bilateral talks with the head of states on various topics. From the China challenge in the Indo-Pacific to the aftermath of the war in Ukraine, this will be followed by a one-on-one -on -one talk with Biden, Kishida and Anthony Albanese on day one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you Hindi? Yes, I learned. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Hmm. Wow. And what did you write in Japanese? Same here. Same here. Yes. 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 is in Tokyo and according him a welcome in Tokyo were these children from a global Indian institution where they're of course some of them Japanese in fact who are learning Hindi as well Indian students as well who were there in fact bearing these placards uh, writing down poems as well welcoming uh, the Prime Minister the Prime Minister of course had a very interesting interaction with Ritsuki Ritsuki can you tell us what you told the Prime Minister I have three sentences. My name is Ritsuki. I am a global Indian international school. I am a member of the Japan. I am a member of the Japan. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You speak a lot of uh, Hindi. You're fluent with Hindi. No, I have prepared those three lines only. Okay, but do you like, uh, do you study Hindi? Yes, Are you studying Hindi? Okay. Do you like the language? Yeah, I wish to get better, but I need more practice for that. It's going to be high, going to be high. Jai Saminaraya, Jai Saminaraya. Modi jaisa koi nahi aur Japan se relation bahut acha hai. Modi, Modi, Modi. Aap yahan par kab se hai Japan? 20 saal se. 20 saal se hai. Aur aapne relations pe kya fark dekha? बहुत बड़ा फर्क देखा है इंटरनेशनल सीन पे मोदी जी ने भारत का जो नाम बढ़ाया है और काफी अच्छा लग रहा है यू सॉ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी व्हाट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम दिस विजिट एंड इंडो जापान रिलेशंस यू बीन हियर फॉर अ वाइल हैव यू बीन लिविंग इन जापान फॉर and uh, the you know Indian Japan relationship not only uh, it's getting limited. I'm saying it is going beyond limitation. Yeah, so we are uh, really thrilled. Okay, we are very thrilled, and uh, we we and and we are just you know unable to say like what to say. This time Modi ji ne 
सबसे हाथ मिलाया है इस तरफ भी गए हैं उस तरफ भी गए हैं छोटी बच्चों से नाम पूछा है और दिल उनसे मिलके बहुत खुश हो जाता है हमारे तेजस्वी यशस्वी मोदी जी को देख के पूरा एक एनर्जी सी मिल जाती है ऐसा लगता है अब हम अपने भारत के लिए बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं एक हमारी जान भी उनके साथ कर बिल्कुल तैयार है और ये नारा क्या है जो त्रिसत्तर हटाए हैं वो टोक्यो आए हैं नारा लगाया आप लोग आज आज कई बार वो मोदी जी जो टोक्यो आए हैं हमेशा इतना प्यार देते हैं वो यहाँ के लोग भी उन्हें इतना प्यार देते हैं उन्हें ऐसा लगता है अपने दूसरे घर आए हैं राम को लाए हैं वो टोक्यो आए हैं जो काशी सजाए हैं वो टोक्यो आए हैं जो तीन सौ सत्तर हटाए हैं सबसे मिल पाए हाँ हम लोग उस पाए हम लोगों ने सेकेंड भी किया उन्हें India Today is at Netaji's resting place, the only channel India Today inside Renkoji Temple in Tokyo. Here's an exclusive report coming. Not many have the privilege to visit the Renkoji Temple in Tokyo, but here we are. India Today is inside the temple right now, where it is said that the remains, the ashes of freedom fighter Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, are these. Are the images? These are the images. We are inside, in fact, the temple right now. You can see that portrait of Netaji, and what lies next to it are the ashes. It is said that inside this pagoda, this golden pagoda that you see right behind me, are the ashes, the remains of Netaji. Obviously, there's a lot of debate over it whether indeed Netaji's ashes are inside this, whether in fact uh, the date, as it is said, the 18th of August, 1945, is when Netaji died in an air crash in Taipei. Or not remember several commissions have been in fact set up in order to get to the bottom of it the narendra modi government since it came into power has also opened up certain classified files but not all, all files remember a lot of historians are trying to get to the bottom of what actually happened as well but that debate remains prime minister atal bihari vajpayee had visited this temple he of course uh, has of course uh, come here twice he says mujhe Renko ji, dobara akar prasanta hui. So he's come here twice, but again, in the statement that he makes over here, the little note that he's left over here, he doesn't commit to the remains of Netaji having been here as well. Over here, you can see Pandit Nehru's uh, portrait as well because he was here as uh, well. In fact, Mansi, if you could join me right now, Mansi is a Japanese who, in fact, has taken keen interest in this entire mystery as it is. Mansi is, of course, with us right now. Mansi, could you tell us? us exactly a little bit about what is inside this what do people believe mm i th uh, this is uh, netaji's ashes we japanese believe it uh, of course and also the, the priest would like to return this ashes to india so and uh, yamuna and the gandhi uh, river he would like to release it so that is uh, the priest uh, and also japanese people we are hoping that it will return this ashes to India. That okay. is all. So that is what Eriko, mm -hmm. who of course calls herself Mansi as well because she's so connected with the Indian culture and has obviously studied this uh, for a war long time. She believes that the ashes of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose are inside this pagoda and she says that the priest of Rengoji temple would like to return them to India. Prime Minister Modi is in Tokyo. He has been here before in Tokyo but he's not visited the Rengoji temple because the mystery, so to say, hasn't yet been unraveled in its fullest as to what happened to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Which Shweta Singh in Tokyo, Polami Saha for India Today. The Prime Minister just attended the Indo-Pacific Trade Initiative, a U.S.-led counter to China. Biden formally unveiled the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity, where he also held talks with Japan Prime Minister. China has already reacted to the initiative, calling it a strategy that creates divisions and incites confrontation. Chinese Foreign Minister called it a strategy that is bound to fail. Yeah, कि विश्व का सबसे प्राचीन 
कमर्शियल पोर्ट भारत में मेरे होम स्टेट गुजरात के लोथल में था इसलिए ये आवश्यक है कि हम क्षेत्र की आर्थिक चुनौतियों के लिए साझा समाधान खोजें रचनात्मक व्यवस्थाएं बनाएं एक्सलेंसी भारत एक इंक्लूसिव और फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फ्लेक्सिबल इंडो पैसिफिक इकोनॉमिक फ्रेमवर्क के निर्माण के लिए आप सभी के साथ काम करेगा मेरा मानना है कि हमारे बीच रेजिलियंस सप्लाई चेन्स के तीन मुख्य आधार होने चाहिए ट्रस्ट ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड टाइमलीनेस मुझे विश्वास है कि यह फ्रेमवर्क इन तीनों स्तंभों को मजबूत करने में सहायक होगा और इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र में विकास शांति और समृद्धि का मार्ग प्रशस्त करेगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद